The following video is titled North, South, East and West Improving Toric IOL Axis Alignment. It's by Graham Barrett from Australia. Those who know Graham and his videos, uh, again here, great art, artwork um, and, and great uh, technique of, of actually presenting a video. But obviously here we're also talking about content. Uh, what he shows very elegantly is the problems you have when you actually, on the one hand, calculating and then actually uh, positioning your lens uh, for toric IOLs. For the calculation purpose, he talks and compares different calculators which are out there and the problems some of them have, especially for some of the manufacturers. Uh, he presents uh, data on a number of eyes where he can compare the different calculators and actually shows that if you do a proper calculation, taking the centroid into, into consideration, you actually have better outcomes. And then, last but not least, one of the problems we have is on the day of surgery when we have to align the lens. We have marking devices, there are many out there. We have some very high technology uh, equipment like integrated into the uh, uh, microscopes. But he shows a nice, uh, small, elegant app on the iPhone, um, together with which he essentially just does small markings with an ink uh, a pen on the conjunctiva, takes a photograph, and from that photograph derives uh, what he actually has to set on his marker, which he uses intraoperatively, and with that seems to have very good alignment. So I think you're going to enjoy this video, and I think it's very instructional. Historically, knowing the correct orientation has always been regarded as important. When the terracotta warriors were buried with the first emperor, they were all facing east. The Chinese realized early on the need for instruments to determine north, south, east and west, and were the first to develop a magnetic compass in the first century, before the Common Era. By the 18th century, the compass had become considerably refined, and together with the octant, allowed seafaring navigators the ability to determine their exact location as well as the angular height of celestial objects above the horizon. Today, in the 21st century, the complex circuitry for a digital accelerometer and gyroscope has been etched into this tiny chip, which is included in the modern smartphone. And this insight led me to develop a novel app called Toricam, allowing me to obtain accurate alignment along the correct meridian when implanting a toric intraocular lens. There are several different calculators available. The Alcon calculator uses a fixed ratio in calculating the corneal vector of the cylinder power of the toric ROL. This can be adjusted for the posterior cornea using the Baylor nomogram. The Holiday calculator uses the effective lens position to calculate the corneal vector and can be adjusted by the Baylor nomogram or direct measurements of the posterior cornea using a Scheinflug device. The alternative is to go online to the APA CRS or ASCRS websites and use the Barrett Toric calculator, which includes an integrated algorithm to calculate the posterior cornea. Recently, we analyzed the outcome in 54 eyes who had a toric IOL implanted, comparing the predicted outcome using pre-op versus post-op Ks the intended versus the actual axis of alignment and different calculators to identify the relative contribution of each of these factors to errors in predicted residual astigmatism. The first scenario reflects common practice where a mean or median value is entered for the SIA and the axis is the intended axis of alignment. The number of eyes with a predicted residual astigmatism within a half adapter is less than 10% with the Alcon calculator compared to 50% with the Barrett Toric calculator. A medium value for SIA, however, is not appropriate, and there is a significant improvement when the centroid value for SIA of 0.1 diopters is utilized in the calculators. The centroid value for the Barrett calculator is now close to zero. If the post-op K is utilized, there is a significant improvement and now over 70% of cases would be within a half adapter of predicted residual astigmatism, compared to just over 20% for the Alcon calculator. 
If the actual axis of the implanted toric IOL is then utilized, further improvement for both calculators is modest. The centroid remains close to zero for all scenarios with a Barrett calculator. The best way to display the results graphically is a double angle plot of the X and Y values for each vector. It is clear that the Alcon calculator results in significant unintended against the rule astigmatism. We also compared the holiday calculator using the Baylor nomogram or the measured value of the posterior radius using the Pentacam to account for posterior astigmatism. Adjusting the measured case with the Baylor nomogram or Pentacam improved the percentage of cases predicted within a half adapter. Both modifications, however, proved to be less accurate than the Barrett Toric calculator, and these differences were statistically significant. Solving the Toric enigma therefore requires reducing errors in estimating the SIA by using a centroid value and operating on a consistent axis, improving accuracy in Toric IOL alignment, and most importantly, using an improved Toric calculator. There are many handheld instruments currently available relying on the slit lamp, spirit level or gravity to define an accurate reference mark at 180 degrees. Even more sophisticated systems include intraoperative measurements of the axis with wavefront aberrometers or image guided systems based on iris and limbal registration such as the Varion device. Personally, I find the handheld devices fiddly and the intraoperative guidance systems a complex and expensive solution. I therefore developed the Torican system as a simple but very accurate method of Toric marking, requiring only an iPhone and felt tip marking pen. Firstly, I dry the limbus with a spear to prevent smearing and mark the limbus at what I perceive to be 180 degrees. I then use my Toricam app to align the red reference axis indicator with the limbal marks, press the camera button and capture an image. The app can now be used without a macro lens using the default 3 times zoom. It is helpful to use the left hand as a bridge with the patient's forehead to help stabilize the right hand holding the phone. Selecting the Toricam logo displays the most recent five images so that the image with the best alignment can be quickly visualized. I set the desired Toric axis on a pre-inked Toric marker with an offset for the reference axis, apply it to the cornea, and so obtain two clearly visible lines with which to align the Toric intraocular lens. In this patient, I then use the Varion to validate the axis marking provided by the app. I always create my incision at 180 degrees when operating on the right eye and 20 degrees on the left. The rexus is performed and after FACO and IA, the toric IOL is inserted and aligned on the Toricam axis mark, which coincides perfectly with the Varion overlay. I have evaluated the Toricam system in several cases simultaneously with the Varion, and the axis indicated was always identical. I have also designed a dual axis marker specifically for the Toricam app. The marker allows you to set the reference axis as indicated by the app independently from the toric axis recommended by the toric calculator. I analyze the difference in axis indicated by the Toricam app from the intended reference axis in 50 consecutive eyes and found a mean error of 3.2 degrees. This indicates that whilst I am pretty good at eyeballing the horizontal axis, some patients had errors of up to 8 degrees, where the app certainly improved the outcome. The ability of the ancient Chinese to determine the orientation of their chariots on the battlefield is thought to have been instrumental in their military victories. Similarly, determining the exact location of the reference axis when implanting a toric lens increases the likelihood of success. And remember, knowledge of one's location and direction is required to arrive at one's destination in life and cataract surgery.